SBFalcons.com here with men's soccer coach Mark Collings. Coach, coming off an NCAA tournament berth, what are your thoughts entering this 2012 season? Uh, I'm excited, really excited. You know, uh, we were really happy to get back to the NCAA tournament and to host. Um, you know, the regional championship here was great. Uh, obviously, we came up a little bit short, but we're excited about uh, all the guys that are returning, and we have a great group of young guys coming in, and so uh, excitement would probably be the one word I'd use. Does that playoff berth and run in the tournament uh, put a little bigger target on your backs this year? Sure, sure. And I think that's something we talked about during our winter and spring, just that, uh, you know, there's always been a target, but now the target's a little bigger because, um, you know, having had some success and getting to go to the tournament, which is where, you know, all the teams want to get to, um, places a, a big target on us. And, you know, just how are we going to deal with that and um, the added pressure that comes with it. And then, of course, the guys feeling it too, just – you know, knowing that uh, they got there and didn't quite get far enough and um, wanting to get back, I definitely think there'll be some added pressure and we'll, we'll talk about it. We have talked about it and we'll continue to talk about how to deal with that. Is it fair to say that defense will be a strength of this team with a couple All-Americans and goalkeeper Zach Johnson and John Perriman, your defender, returning? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just kind of how we play in general, you know, we expect that our guys are going to defend and, you know, keep us in game. Scoring goals is a really, really hard thing to do, and if we can um, come out and, and not allow teams to score goals, then it can, it's going to put you in a position to win a lot of games. And so we're always going to try and be organized defensively and make it difficult for opponents to score on us, and um, certainly we have two very good pieces in the back uh to, to start that defense and um, everybody else does their job and I think that's a big thing and, and John and Zach would probably tell you the same is that um, there's a lot of guys around them that allow them to have the impact that they do and certainly they have a big impact but uh, we have a lot of guys that do a good job. Your team actually had three All-Americans last year but uh, the one who is leaving is, uh, is a good one. He was the GNAC Player of the Year in Tyler Schultz. How will you go about replacing him? Uh, I don't think we'll really replace him. I think we'll do it differently. Um, Tyler was, you know, he was a pretty talented kid and he had his own way of doing things that, you know, you don't get kids like that very much um, or very often. And so th we'll probably try and do it by committee a little bit with uh, Blaine Carver and, um, you know, we have a couple guys coming back for fifth years and Elliot Morton and Kyle Peterman and you know, some young guys as well, and we feel like, you know, between all of them, we're hoping we can score by committee. You had a very good recruiting class signed. Uh, do you expect any of them to contribute immediately? Uh, yeah, I expect all of them to, to contribute. You know, I think the biggest thing that's changed over the last few years is just the depth of our roster, and it's made training a lot more competitive um, day in and day out, and guys feel like they have to come and train harder, and they're putting in extra work, and, you know, we expect those guys to do that, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not going to place too much pressure on them, but, you know, certainly we need some of these young guys to come in and um, fill some holes for us. What has to happen uh, for this team in, as you start training camp here pretty soon and early in the season for you to make a return tri trip to the playoffs? Well, I, you know, we, we found out the importance of our non-conference schedule. And, you know, we have four really tough non-conference games to start our season. And so we have to get off to a good start. So training camp and the first two weeks of the season are going to be really important to us. Um, you know, I, I think it, the hardest part about it is, you know, we just don't have – a lot of time to prepare for these first games so hopefully the guys come in shape and we can stay healthy and um, you know find a rhythm right away and you know I think too early on you got to get a couple breaks here and there whether it be you know um, a, something not going in our goal or something going in the opponent's goal um, and that's you know what we'll look for and I think hopefully just by having some experience and you know they've seen a lot of stuff you know at this point in their careers that uh, hopefully we can you know get off to a good start. Speaking of a good start how concerned are you that those first two games were on the road against a team that beat you last year and a team that you tied against? Uh, really concerned <laughs> yeah I think uh, we're definitely stepping into some uh, difficult um, territory by going down and playing Notre Dame, who I thought was, you know, I'm not going to say the best team we played, but certainly one of the better teams we played. Um, you know, Coach Noble's done a great job down there, and they're going to be very talented again, and uh, the way they play definitely poses some issues for us, and, um, you know, we'll 
will hopefully be ready for that. And then, you know, going up to Chico um, is never an easy place to play. And, you know, um, Felipe does a great job of bringing in guys year in and year out. And they're, you know, they're coming off back-to-back -back trips to the NCAA tournament. So um, definitely two difficult matches for us, but um, I'm confident that we'll be ready to go. And lastly, uh, two new members or soccer-only members of GDEC this year in Mary and Sioux Falls. They will then, uh, you'll play two against each of them. So that's four games that will be conference games uh, that have been non-conference games in the past. Your thoughts on, on having more conference games? Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I think, um, you know, we, we had an opportunity to go out to Bismarck last year and play at the University of Mary. It was it was great. Our guys really enjoyed the trip, and you know, on the same trip, we also played Sioux Falls and um, both those programs. You know, we've played Mary a few times now over the last couple of years, and they've definitely gotten better each time we've played them. And um, you know, and it's fun. I think you know when you have a little bit bigger conference, you um, you know, it just gives a, a bigger opportunity for the teams to kind of separate themselves out and. Um, I think it adds more to our conference, just having some extra members. And, um, you know, I, I think it will really enhance the experience of our kids. And, um, yeah, we're looking forward to going out to Sioux Falls. It will be a difficult trip having to go to Bismarck and Sioux Falls on the same weekend. But um, at the same time, it should be fun. Great. Thank you.